Good evening, everyone. My name is Nick Witosh, and I am going to be presenting the facility accident announcement. This is the press conference. This is being brought to you um, on our company website and social media accounts. And this is for the Carlisle facility accident that occurred in 2022. Like I said, my name is Nick Witosh, and I've been chosen to deliver some not so good news at one of our facilities this year. Um, there was a terrible and tragic accident that left seven employees severely injured and three mildly injured. Uh, a forklift was pulling product out from the top level in a shelving unit when it knocked over a pallet that fell through on, onto the other side. When that pallet fell through and re it resulted in product falling onto the employees who were in the near zone of the forklift, the forklift was also impacted and the operator of the forklift was one of the seven who was severely injured. Three team members were mildly injured, including mild concussions, scrapes, and bruises from the pallet of product that fell. Uh, the other six members who were severely injured received cuts and abrasions from being so close to the pallet when it fell. No members were crushed or um, pinned in by the forklift, which is very good in this point. This was a result of lack of upkeep and housekeeping, lack of housekeeping and poor 5S practices on our supervisor and management team um, on their part for not enforcing our rules and protocols, which are very important to us. Safety is the number one concern for us. Our team has designated me to answer for this accident at the Carlisle facility because of my warehouse experience, as well as my experience as safety coordinator for multiple different warehouses. The pallets were not wrapped correctly and tightly to hold together with that when being moved from the top shelves. And this is where the forklift operator lost control of the pallet on the other side that it bumped into and pushed it off and fell into the aisle. He also, they also did not uh, close off the aisle where they were working, which is why there were so many employees in the same aisle. Um, they were being as careful as they could be, and this is what they're trained to do. Um, there's a standard two bay length to stay away from a forklift operator when they're in the air, and the standard is two bays. This press conference announcing these awful injuries and accident resulting in not keeping our facility clean to the employees who were injured and the families who are going through the recovery process along with them, we deeply apologize that this happened. We assure you that we are going to take all the required steps to, to look into this and see why it happened. We will also make sure that this will never happen again. All medical bills for those injured will be taken care of, as well as waiting for them to return safely to work after any needed break and rehab. To our future employees, we take the safety of our team members and employees very serious. We assure you that this will be fixed, corrected, and it will never happen again. We have the right people looking into this, and we will take the following actions to prevent another instance like this. Some of the following actions that we're going to take to ensure that this doesn't happen again. Enforcing 5S and updating all safety protocols. Bringing in a safety manager on second and third shift, assuring that all areas will be cleaned before and after all shifts, and requiring all forklift operators to carry yellow signage to close off an aisle when working in an area with a lot going on or a lot of people around, as well as retraining of the HALO rule for all forklift operators and non-forklift operators. The HALO rule is a generic warehouse rule that requires you to stay six feet away from a forklift when it's moving and 20 feet away from a forklift when it's raised or in the air. Some other ways to ensure safety will remain that our remain our number one protocol and rule. We can assure that this won't happen again by taking the safety of our team members and employees even more serious than we already do. Personally, I have always been one for safety and appreciate when companies make sure that, that that's the number one concern. In my experience of working at warehouses when there is a aspect of bringing fun and safety together, more people are more likely to make sure that their warehouse, their areas, their departments are clean and safe. This is also bring, bringing into the next point, but um, safety day streaks. Um, whenever there's so many days in a row with a, without an incident, accident, or report, um, that's a good thing, and our employees should be rewarded for it. Things that we will be starting at the Carlisle facility to ensure the safety remains a priority number one is a game called Safety Bingo. How it works is every day in our team meetings before starting the work day, we're going to pass out bingo cards. And one number will be called every day until there's a winner, as long as there's no safety violations or recordable accidents. When there is a winner, they will have the choice of a prize, 
such as a company water bottle, some Yeti products, a zero gravity chair, lunch boxes, and company merch. Once there is a winner, all cards will be thrown out and brand new ones will be handed out the next day as long as the safety streak continues. So if there is ever a small accident or an accident period is something that is recorded, um, the it doesn't matter who's close to a bingo. If there's an accident that is reported and recorded, uh, those cards will be thrown out and then everyone will start over. So this is a way to ensure that the safety um, it stays top priority is by passing out the bingo and playing a game of bingo. And you could be, you could have four numbers that were called and you could be set for bingo. And then the next day you think that a number is going to be called, but then there's a recordable. You have to throw the card away and restart. So this is a fun way to keep um, safety on everyone's mind. And in closing, we as a company and team, again, apologize to the employees and team members involved. We assure to those involved and their families, along with the future employees, something like this will not happen again. We are working around the clock nonstop to make sure new safety criteria will be in place to avoid something like this from happening again. Those injured receiving are receiving proper compensations for their recover in the recovery time, as well as all medical bills being paid for. Thank you to everyone for your time and keeping those affected and their families and your thoughts. We hope for nothing but a speedy recovery, and we look forward to bringing back our team members back to work when they are cleared and ready to return, where they will find that all safety protocols and procedures will be updated and enforced to prevent something like this from happening to anyone else. Thank you.